The Arizona Cardinals coming off an amazing, amazing win against the Buffalo Bills. Now, although we all want to be excited and bask in the glory of this amazing win against the Buffalo Bills, Three days from now, we have the Arizona Cardinals versus the Seattle Seahawks. Another showdown between Kyler Murray and Russell Wilson. Now, I'm really excited for the national people to see another showdown between them two because the very last one did not disappoint at all. Let's go ahead and dive into it here shortly, guys. Week 11, Arizona Cardinals versus the Seattle Seahawks. Roll that intro. Welcome back into another video of the Arizona Sports Fan. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Now in this video, I wanted to talk about Week 11, Arizona Cardinals versus the Seattle Seahawks. Now, four or five weeks ago, we just did a preview about this game. Now, if I were to go ahead and talk about this game again, we would probably have the same highlights, same points, same players to look out for. I'm going to do things a little different in this preview. But before we get started, let's go ahead and do our quick due diligence. If you're new, please consider subscribing to the AZ Sports Fan on YouTube. Drop a like on this video and make sure you put that post notification bell on just so you're aware when I drop the next video or when we go live. Without further ado, let's go and just jump right into it here, guys. Let's talk about the Seattle Seahawks. Usually what we do is talk about our opponent first. So obviously the players to look out for is not going to change from the the week prior now we have russell wilson dk metcalf um also tyler lockett and i think we're also gonna have to worry about alex collins because i'm not quite sure if carson is coming back last week or this past week here the seattle seahawks rolled with alex collins he got a really really high dose of the running back position there seattle seahawks are trying to get a win they currently lost three out of four they started the season off hot they started off with a you know completely winning record then they bumped into the Arizona Cardinals and we handed them their first loss now I don't know if our defense exposed how to you know defeat Russell Wilson but it seems like a lot of times that we're seeing these teams play them whether you would say the Arizona Cardinals the Buffalo Bills or even the Rams I'm seeing kind of the same tactic that you know we used in the last fourth quarter to you know to beat Russell Wilson. Now, if the map has been put out there to beat Russell Wilson, then um, I apologize. But, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. And I felt like the Arizona Cardinals needed to do something. I think that was probably one of the main reasons why we beat Russell Wilson. Putting everybody on the line, either sending everybody at Russell or peel people off. Particularly confuse them and, you know, make them try to guess where the pressure is coming from. If I were to go ahead and describe this game in a nutshell here, um, obviously we're going to go to CenturyLink, which is their home. Now, we usually do have good success at CenturyLink, but one thing that's kind of worrying me a little bit about the Seattle Seahawks game is that the Seahawks are playing with their backs against the corner. They lost three out of the last four. I think the only team that they ended up beating was the San Francisco 49ers, and obviously they're going through their own, you know, injury bug situation currently right now, but they're going to be playing like their hair is on fire so that means you're going to see a pro caliber type Russell Wilson out there you're going to see uh, Tyler Lockett running as fast as he possibly can DK Metcalf trying to moss everybody we're going to see a different type of game plan here against the Arizona Cardinals now some people might think that this will not be a shootout because you know obviously we're familiar with each other we know what we can do best but let's be honest here the worst defense in the entirety of the NFL is probably going to be the Seattle Seahawks defense. Now, it's I, I hate saying it, and I'm not trying to bag on them, but I think they're ranked really, really low. Now, if you look at the Arizona Cardinals defense, yes, we're not that great either. I think we have the key pieces on our defense, whether you want to say Patrick Peterson, Buda Baker, uh, Jordan Hicks. Um we have players. We have players that can make plays. The thing is that the inconsistency with our team is very, very apparent. So we can either have a pretty good game or we can have an awful game. We're having offenses basically go up and down the field against our defense. And that's actually something that we've seen a lot more um, than, you know, being a very good defense. This wouldn't be a preview video if we don't talk about our Arizona Cardinals here. The Arizona Cardinals are, you know, like I mentioned before in the uh, beginning part of the of the video here, we're flying high. Um, and I think that might be something that can bite us in the butt. Um, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie here. Uh, Seattle Seahawks are going to be playing like their head is on fire, like their back is against the wall. And that's the type of team that we do not want to see um, because anything could happen, man. Anything could happen. We can either come out there and fall flat um, and they can have a really good defensive plan against the Arizona Cardinals or 
it just could be another shootout game. And it really just depends on who's going to be able to capitalize on those one or two plays. Now, we're all going to ride and die, like I mentioned in plenty of my uh, preview videos on the uh, success of Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray has taken a big, big leap from his rookie year um, in terms of wins as well as stats goes. I think he had probably 9 to 10 rushing uh, touchdowns at, by the end of last year. And this year, he's already have like 10 or 11 right now. So it's just amazing to see, you know, a quarterback for the Arizona Cardinals, really, really a dynamic player. Um, and I'm just really excited to see his progression, his growth within the organization. Another player, obviously, I think everybody needs to know here is the fact that, you know, DeAndre Hopkins is the best wide receiver in all the NFL. Um, he, he showed it time and time again, especially on those last seconds against the Buffalo game where he was triple coverage and this guy jumped for the sky and got the ball in his hand. This guy's got some mitts on him so you know it was obvious that that ball was going to go ahead and get to him when he had the opportunity so um, obviously we got to get uh, DeAndre Hopkins involved their secondary is really really bad um, they might have their best corner on DeAndre Hopkins but I still see him get a very very good game hopefully over 80 yards and a touchdown because let's be honest here we thrive on getting receptions to DeAndre Hopkins as well as Larry Fitzgerald, but I think the torch is getting passed over to DeAndre Hopkins at this point. So really excited to see the progression and the growth with DeAndre Hopkins and Kyler Murray. Another thing that's really important is that Kenyon Drake is back. It's very, very important that Kenyon Drake is back. Now, I know there's a lot of people saying that, you know, Chase Edmonds is the number one. We're happy. We're excited. I was one of those people too as well. But I think when we saw Chase Edmonds out there alone, his versatility, his dynamicness, his elusiveness kind of went down when he was that number one running back. So honestly, I love the fact that we have both of them. We have Kenyon Drake, which is going to be that that guy that gets you those hard one or two, three yards that, you know, that gritty, ugly yards. That's Kenyon Drake. And then we have uh, Chase Edmonds that can break for a 10 yards rushing or even catch a ball, you know, on the flat a swing pass and take it five to seven yards, something along those lines. So I love that we have both of them. I think they both thrive and their success comes from each other. So, so happy that we got both of our running backs back because they're, they're kind of different in the sense of, you know, running backs, their success is only going to thrive for, you know, having both of them on the field. So guys, I can definitely see this game being a very, very awesome game, but I can also see this game becoming a heartbreaker for the Arizona Cardinals because the Seattle Seahawks need a win. Um, they started off hot. They started off like they were on top of the world and now they got a piece of humble pie. But I'm never going to say, you know, Russell Wilson is out. Never going to say that. The Seattle Seahawks defense, on the other hand, they might have a little thing to say about it because they are completely seriously bad. Um, but the Arizona Cardinals do have an opportunity to go seven and three on the season. In about three days, we're going to be seeing part two. Arizona Cardinals versus the Seattle Seahawks and I cannot wait guys go ahead and drop your predictions down on the comments below don't forget to drop a like on this video and if you're new please consider subscribing to the AZ Sports Fan on YouTube all right guys that's all I got for this episode thank you so very much and I'm out